The four noble truths need to be understood. The main aspects of Buddhism are the ones I have mentioned in the answer to the fourth question, namely the five aggregates, the six sense basis, the elements, dependent origination, the four foundations of mindfulness, etc. These teachings are found only in Buddhism, so a Buddhist worth his salt should be proficient in them. Other meritorious deeds, uh, such as giving, keeping the precepts, meditation for concentration using the devices, casinos, meditation on the boundless states of loving kindness, etc., are to a great extent also found in other religions. These teachings or practices are prevalent at all times in civilized societies. They are universal in the sense that they can be practiced at all times, whether or not it is the era of a Buddha. However, they are only mundane and glorify the civilized world. In other eons too, such good practices are known. They are practiced in universes other than ours. There are human beings and celestial beings in the present world and in other innumerable worlds. There are likewise recluses, monks and brahmins there too. Gautama the Buddha rose in the world, cycle of a hundred year life. When the good deeds common even to non-Buddhists were on the wane. In this particular world cycle, the average man is so polluted with defilements that the Buddha had to dwell at great length on the ordinary deeds of merit. Only during the period of the Buddha's teaching is there the special advantage of taking the true refuge in the Triple Gems and the fertile field of the Sangha to whom giving can be practiced for one's benefit. As regards the teaching, it is only when the Buddha's teaching is still extant that the teachings on the aggregates etc. can be heard. That is why a good Buddhist ought to know them well. The seven aspects referred to earlier, if understood well, makes a sound Buddhist. The firm stand that a Buddhist can take and thus meet any criticism in the presence in the present existence is the law of dependent origination. The main knowledge that is the safeguard against any other religion either here or hereafter until one attains Nibbana is that of the Four Noble Truths. Dependent origination needs to be understood. I shall now extend, expand on the law of dependent origination. Herein, the following twelve factors should be learnt and heard. Ignorance, avidya, volitional activities, sankhara, consciousness, vijnana, psychophysical phenomena, nama rupa, the sixth sense basis, sala yatana, contact, vasa, seven feeling, vedana, craving, tanha, attachment, Upadana, becoming bhava, birth, jati, aging and death, jara, maranam. Ignorance is the opposite of knowledge. It is essentially delusion or error, moha. The mind is like the sun or the moon. Knowledge is the sunlight or moonlight. Ignorance is like an eclipse. When the sun is eclipsed, there is no sunlight. When the moon is eclipsed, there is no moonlight. Likewise, when the mind is shrouded by ignorance, no knowledge can arise. Ignorance is also like a cataract that makes the eye opaque and eventually causes blindness. Sensual pleasures aggravate the darkness of delusion in just the same way as a wrong diet or strong pungent smells aggravate a cataract. 
Ardent practice for proficiency in the seven aspects is like the medicine that can be can remove the cataract. Four kinds of ignorance. There are four kinds of ignorance. The ignorance that blinds one to the truth of suffering. The ignorance that blinds one to the truth of the cause of suffering. The ignorance that blinds one to the truth of the cessation of suffering. And the ignorance that blinds one to the truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. Seven kinds of ignorance. The ignorance that blinds one to the first aspect in the five aggregates. The ignorance that blinds one to the seven aspect of the five aggregates. Of the five aggregates that make up our body, the material aggregate is most obvious. Of the material aggregate, the main element of extension is most obvious. You should first try to distinguish the element of extension within your body. In the beginning a man blinded by a cataract may not be able to see even such a bright object as the sun or the moon. Similarly you may not see the earth element at first. However with sustained effort the darkness shrouded the mind gradually gives way. As the darkness of delusion slowly, slowly recedes, the mind regains its ability to see. Remember, delusion is not a total stranger. It is your mind in its negative character. The luminous quality of your mind is the original phenomena, which is a normal sensuous environment, it tends to be dominated by darkness. Light means vision of knowledge. When ignorance has been removed, you can see the elements of extension in your mind's eye, just as plainly as a man with normal eyes can see the sun or the moon. Having seen the element of extension within your body, then proceed with examining the other elements that constitute the material aggregate. Having thus understood materiality in its true nature, then proceed to understand the four element the four mental aggregates. In this way the five aggregates will be understood, which means being skillful or proficient in the five aggregates, the first aspect. Ignorance has then given way to knowledge. As you rightly discern the remaining six aspects, notice how the light of knowledge dawns on the mind, and how the veil of ignorance is lifted. After the seven kinds of ignorance have been dispelled and knowledge of the seven aspects gained, keep up the practice steadfastly to gain the path of knowledge that is right view. Once one is established in path knowledge, ignorance is absolutely dispelled and when ignorance disappears, the remaining eleven factors of dependent origination also become clear. The Four Noble Truths are then simultaneously realized. How the Four Noble Truths are realized? Discerning the truth of suffering, Dukkha Satya, in the five aggregates. Abandoning the ignorance and craving that are the roots of these ills, Samudaya Satya. The direct experience of the cessation of twelve links in the chain of dependent origination, Niroda Satya, the arising of insight with path knowledge, Maga Satya. All these four realizations occur simultaneously. The three trainings reach maturity. The thirty seven factors the thirty seven factors of enlightenment are fulfilled. Taking refuge in the three gems is well established and the five killers, Maras, are vanished. Mara, the evil deva of the Paranimita Vasavati realm, the great destroyer and tempter, cannot confound such a noble one. Let thousands of non-Buddhist teachers confront him. He will never be in doubt about the truth. This is an exposition to underline the crucial importance of ignorance, the principal factor of independent origination, 
although the whole chain of dependent origination is finally broken with conquest of ignorance. The remaining factors will also be dealt with for understanding them more clearly.